Welcome back to the next video series. In this uh, screencast, I'm going to show you how to get started on water quality, which is one of the big things we do as part of our Ocean Guardian School work. And guess what? We're still going to do it. So I kind of rearranged uh, the quest assignments for the Ocean Guardian School quest chain so that things... I, I tried to make them fit a little better in this map, which I really enjoy the map. But here's where we're at. So clearly, as you finish Think Like a Scientist, uh, you unlock some uh, assignments where you get to practice testing to see if you know uh, how to spot a fake website from a real one. Um, and it's good to practice that as much as you can. But it unlocks the climate change one, which is very important because you need that background knowledge to know fact from fiction. And then your ace dot is where you uh, publish a blog post sharing what you've learned and, and putting your knowledge out there to help the world learn how to fix our planet. And of course, it also leads you to the ocean acidification assignment where you learn what's happening to our oceans. It's not just plastic, folks. It's also carbon dioxide making them acidic. So make sure you do that one. And then this climate change follow-up pair deck is just a quiz you on what you learned. But right now, let's focus on water quality. This brand new one that I'm just unlocking today will take you to the next phase of what we do in the Chimicum Valley. So 17 years, sixth graders have been learning about Chimicum Valley, their watershed, and specifically our creek, and how to take care of the salmon, uh, the trout. We've got cutthroat trout. We've got rainbow trout. We've got coho salmon and the summer chum uh, that should be hatching soon. So here's what you do. Step number one, click on that link and watch the videos. All right. I, I went down to the creek and I recorded myself doing the water quality testing because sadly you couldn't go. So that's what's going on here. Uh, it's, it's really helpful. And then you get to this one and it shows you how I took the data I got with this LabQuest sensor interface device and um, how I put it into a spreadsheet that you're going to use to analyze the data and learn for yourself how Chimicum Creek is doing. So that's the first step. Watch the videos. Uh, graph the data yourself. There's a video that shows you how to do that. And this is the one that I'm going to record now. Or I am recording now, as you can clearly see. So here's what you've got. You've got Chimicum Creek. Um, and it's got the data from this year that I collected for you. I'm sorry. I had to do it because we're all quarantined. Um, but you can see it goes back, 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 all the way to 2002. We now have 18 years of data. And the thing about data analysis and data collection, the more data you have, the more samples you have, the better uh, your analysis can be. It means scientifically you can make better conclusions. So we've got this. 